Wisdom teeth, or third molars, are the last teeth to develop and appear in the mouth. They enter the mouth behind the upper and lower second or 12-year molars. They are called wisdom teeth because they usually appear during the late teens or early 20s, which has been called the age of wisdom. When a wisdom tooth fails to come into the mouth normally, it is said to be impacted. In general, impacted teeth are unable to erupt into the mouth because there is not enough room. When they are able to erupt, they are often in an area that is very difficult to clean. Nine out of ten people have at least one impacted wisdom tooth. Many people believe that as long as they are not in pain, they do not have to worry about their wisdom teeth. However, reality paints a different picture. Asymptomatic or pain-free does not mean the absence of disease or pathology. Bacteria that cause gum disease may exist in clinically significant numbers in and around asymptomatic third molars and cause damage before symptoms let you know that something is wrong. Impacted wisdom teeth can contribute to a variety of problems, including infection, damage to neighboring teeth, tooth decay, receding gums, loosened teeth, bone loss, and tooth loss. Research suggests the bacteria surrounding wisdom teeth may contribute to other systemic health problems. Keeping the back of your mouth clean with daily brushing and flossing is difficult in the best of circumstances. Good oral hygiene in this area is essential to preventing cavities and tooth loss. New research has shown that 40% of young adults between 23 and 34 years of age have experienced cavities in their otherwise problem-free wisdom teeth and neighboring teeth. A young adult's wisdom teeth generally have incomplete root systems, making the surgery to remove the teeth relatively uncomplicated. As we age, the roots lengthen and may become entangled with surrounding sensory nerves or the sinus area. In these cases, surgery may have a greater chance of complications. Such complications may include nerve damage, which may occur when the roots of the developed wisdom teeth become entangled with the nerves that run through the lower jaw and jaw fracture, which may occur in older adults whose jawbone has thinned and weakened. In short, it makes good sense to have your wisdom teeth removed earlier than later. An impacted wisdom tooth sits in the jawbone surrounded by the sac in which it develops. Problems occur when the sac becomes filled with fluid and enlarges to form a cyst. As the cyst grows, it may damage the jaw, neighboring teeth, and the surrounding area. Although rare, tumors can develop from the same tissues that surround an impacted tooth requiring extensive surgery and reconstruction. Perhaps the greatest threat to a healthy mouth is a bacterial infection that starts between your teeth and gums and spreads to neighboring teeth. Some research suggests this bacteria may travel through the bloodstream to other parts of the body. If unchecked, the infection may contribute to diabetes, heart disease, kidney disease, and other health problems. Studies have also found that gum disease in expectant mothers is strongly associated with a greater likelihood of preterm and low birth weight babies. Before surgery, your oral and maxillofacial surgeon will conduct a pre-surgical examination that will include x-rays and possibly other tests as well. X-rays will show the presence and position of the wisdom teeth, the length of the roots, proximity of the tooth roots to nerves, and other information that cannot be determined by simply looking at your mouth. On the day of your surgery, you will want to follow a few simple procedures to make the experience as comfortable as possible. Be sure to follow all of your doctor's instructions, including bringing a companion who can drive you home after the procedure. If you will receive intravenous anesthesia, wear loose, comfortable clothing with sleeves that can easily be rolled up. Outpatient anesthesia is routinely delivered in the OMS office, allowing your surgery to be completed in the oral and maxillofacial surgery office with little or no discomfort. Your surgeon will recommend the most appropriate choice of anesthetic for you. The actual duration, complexity, and type of surgical procedure required to remove your wisdom teeth will depend on several factors, including the position of the teeth, the length and curvature of the roots, the thickness of the bone surrounding the teeth, and your overall physical condition and health. 
If the teeth have fully erupted, it may be possible to simply remove them intact from their socket in the bone using instruments designed for this purpose. Impacted wisdom teeth may require a more complicated surgical procedure. Immediately following surgery, you will rest for a time in the surgeon's office. During this recovery time, the surgeon or an assistant will monitor your condition before allowing you to leave for home with your companion. Before you leave the surgeon's office, you will receive specific instructions to follow over the next few days. You may be asked to modify your diet for a day or two, to eat soft foods and drink fluids. Medication prescribed by your oral and maxillofacial surgeon will make you comfortable. You should generally be able to resume normal activities within three to five days. Is wisdom tooth surgery right for you? Researchers strongly recommend that, in order to prevent future problems, wisdom teeth, even those that appear problem-free, be removed in young adulthood. Also, when wisdom teeth are removed in a timely manner, healing is more predictable and complete. If, after discussing your situation with your family dentist or oral and maxillofacial surgeon, you decide to keep your wisdom teeth for the time being, it's important to agree on a long-term plan for monitoring the health and condition of the teeth and gum tissue. The most appropriate method for monitoring retained wisdom teeth is still being investigated. Researchers believe that x-rays to see the wisdom teeth and surrounding bone and a clinical examination to determine whether a wisdom tooth can be checked with a dental probe should be performed annually. For your part, it is critical that you take particular care in cleaning and flossing the area as part of your oral health care regimen. In the case of wisdom teeth, good things don't come to those who wait. A study of 4,000 patients showed that those older than 25 were one and a half times more likely to experience complications while having their wisdom teeth removed, with the risks increasing with age. Why wait for bigger problems later on? Talk to your dentist or oral and maxillofacial surgeon about your wisdom teeth. For more information, visit the American Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeons website at aaoms.org or contact your family dentist or oral and maxillofacial surgeon.